What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get iOS 9.0.1. Now before going any further, you want to make sure you got the latest version of iTunes, which is iTunes 12.3. You want to make sure your Find My iPhone is turned off, and you also want to make sure your password is turned off. So head to this website, it will be in the description, and simply look for your device and press the download button for your device. Now you can see on the side right here, it says all the file size. Me, I'm doing it on my iPod Touch 6th generation, so I'll click download, and then it simply downloads. You can see I've already got it right there. Now the time will vary, it can take anywhere between... 10 minutes to 2 hours, so depending on your internet connection, be patient. So before doing this, I would actually recommend you back up your device. The way you do this, just come here and click backup now, and you can see it will start to back up everything on your device. So the next thing, you want to go ahead and connect your device, and then go ahead and select it from up here, go to the summary tab. From here, you want to hold the left shift on your keyboard. For Mac users, you want to press alt, and then you want to left click restore iPod, or restore iPhone. From here, you want to go ahead and pick this right here, the one we downloaded, the IPSW. Go ahead and click it, press open, press restore, and then it will start. Okay, so it is now completely done. You can see it's actually prone to sync and stuff. You can go ahead and lock this. You can see the update was completed successfully. Continue. I'm just going to go through this real quick. And there we go. We're now on iOS 9.0.1. You can see my apps are starting to download back. If we go ahead to settings, go general, about. There you go. Version iOS 9.0.1. Now we'll also go ahead and check that on the computer as well, so you can see we're on the iPod, we'll go to Summary, iOS 9.0.1. And there we go, that is how simple it is to update to iOS 9.0.1. I had no problems, this is my first time on iOS 9. I updated from iOS 8.4.1 and went straight to iOS 9.0.1. So that is it for this video, thank you so much for watching, I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.